Hey YouTube, I'm just gonna show you the favorite, my favorite card in in my deck. It's like the best card. It's helped me a lot in my duels. It's helped me bring out my best monsters. So here's a couple combinations I use with it. Here it is. It's decoy dragon. It's good because it has a good effect. It's when the card is selected as an attack target, you can special summon one level seven or higher dragon type from your graveyard to to the field and switch it with this monster. So mainly, this gets sent to the graveyard, but you can summon a good card that'll make them lose life points like a rainbow dragon if you have it in your graveyard. That was my last card of the week. And rainbow dragon is like a good card. I got it right here with me. Yeah, these two are, are good. But look at this. If you can take decoy dragon, get it out. If you can take decoy dragon and add it to your hand, you can do this. Gotta look through my deck real quick. Okay, you can do this. You can actually do a really good combination with this. Give me a second, I gotta find the last one. Okay, here it is. Now look, you can use the Foolish Burial first, which is the card I have right here, to send Rainbow Dragon to the graveyard. Then summon the decoy dragon in defense mode, and then and then when it attacks, you switch it out with Rainbow Dragon, and then use Mystic Walk, which you can add 4,000 life points to your life points. It lets you add the attack points or defense points of a monster you have out on the field to your life points. So that's a pretty good card to use with. So that's a pretty good combination. You use Foolish Burial, send Rainbow Dragon to the graveyard, Decoy Dragon, Defense Mode, bring Rainbow Dragon back out, Mystic Walk, and then you can do that. So, that's pretty much my best. That's pretty much my best strategy in the deck. Besides using my Dark Blaze Dragon. And. The Soul Exchange Spell card. To get this one out on the field. And then let somebody destroy it. Send it to the graveyard. Or just use the Foolish Burial. It'll make it easier so that you don't actually lose life points. But you can use Soul Exchange to sacrifice one of your monsters and one of your opponent's monsters to actually summon the Dark Blaze. And then let them destroy it, send it to the graveyard. And then use something like, as I said before, Decoy Dragon Monster Reborn, Call of the Haunted, or Premature Burial. I have all of those in my deck, by the way, to bring Dark Blaze Dragon back with an even powerful attack, 2,400, which is pretty good, and it has the, a good effect, too. When this card is special summoned from the graveyard, its attack and defense increase become twice its original attack and defense. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster. So, that's one of my best cards. And then I have a card that can go up to like 4,400. And let me look for it real quick. It sometimes take a while. Okay, here's the Egyptian God card.
my deck. I'll show that to you whenever I find my good card. Here. It's my lifeline. There it is. Okay. So here it is. That's the Egyptian god card I have in my deck. The Slifer, the Sky Dragon. It's kind of bent up, but I, but it's still, like, you can still use it. Not in, like, tournaments, but you can use it in regular duels unless you don't want to use it. But it's a pretty good card. And then here's my best card, Veldrin Dragon. Actually, Rainbow Dragon's my best card, but Felgrin Dragon's a good card, too, because if you pick, like, an 8 star out of your graveyard, it can get up to 4,400 attack points. And that's really good. So, that's my, that's kind of the best cards and strategies in my deck. Thank you for watching, YouTube.